how much have you had to lift the players this week after last week? Yeah, there'd been an element of that. You know, last Thursday was a was a, a really ugly day, and uh, you know, the, in terms of me doing too much with the players to get them to be ready to play again, it's not. Sometimes it's not such a big task because it was that bad a day that they just we we just needed to play the day after. You know, we wanted to play a few days after, so it's been a really long tough week. Uh, but in terms of uh, in, in making sure that the players don't lose control, you know, they don't go too far down and, uh, you know, we stay focused is probably the main job. What signs have you seen this week that they're going to bounce back in the right way? Yeah, it, it, lots of them. Uh, I said this in my programme notes, people get to see the players, good or bad, as a player. And I get to see them every single day. The good version of the, and the bad version and the stressed out version, the tired version. And uh, and and I'll always maintain this, and and long may this continue. But they're all very committed, you know. Nobody's thinking, well, it's somebody else's fault. They're, uh, you know, they're very, they've got a lot of humility about them. So, you know, we spoke on the Friday morning afterwards, uh, and then you know, in the in the next subsequent days, went through a process. You've got to go through a process anyway to get ready for the opposition team. But the process this week's been a tough one. Because the footage that we've been looking at is not particularly good footage to look at, so, and they've never shirked any of that responsibility. They've never uh, tried to hide or tried to, uh, you know, not shoulder some of the responsibility as well. So it's been a tough, a tough week for all of us. What were your thoughts on the open letter from Gary that went out this week? Well, uh, something needed to be said after after such a such an ugly day. Uh, that was more of a club letter. I, I'm keen to stress that Gary rang me up and and uh, cleared that letter with me. It wasn't a case of he, Gary Hetherington now makes a decision. It's the, that was a club letter, really. You know, Gary signs that one off. Um, the decisions that we make, or any decisions that will be made, will be made as a group. And uh, you know, and, and as, uh, there's no shirking away that last Thursday we'll need to stand up and be counted and uh, and, and bear the brunt of it. So. You know the uh, I'm I'm cool with what he said in there. I've got no I've got no drama with anything that he said in there. Some people sort of read it and interpret it as a, a bit of an ultimatum. Are they sort of reading too much into into that letter? I wouldn't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, there there's some there's some lines in there where you might be able to think, well, what does that mean? I wonder. Does that mean we've only got four games and all that? I think any change. I think what Gary's saying there, the club is saying. And what we are saying is, any we're not going to just change just after one game. There's some obvious questions that that will be asked. Uh, we're not just going to do it because we had a really ugly day at the office. Which, you know, th those days at Castleford are never down to just one thing. They're never down to just either the players being bad or that the coach has got it wrong. Uh, it's usually a combination of a few things. But the biggest factor for me was, and I'm this. If we're not good enough, we're not good enough, you know. But that's not what I'm saying. I, I, I think the biggest factor was Castleford were just white hot. They were absolutely white hot. Now, if they're going to be white hot and we're off and we're missing a few pack members and Carl Ablett Band and Rob Burrow being ill, that if that means we're going to lose, it probably should have been a, I don't know, you know, 25, 28, 10 score line or something like that, and a disappointing day. Now, the, the real ugly part is that we conceded more points than that, and we shouldn't be conceding 66 points. Uh, and they're, they're the questions that will be asked. But don't don't ever get away from the fact that Castleville were brilliant that day. And it wasn't the case that they they had to mount pressure on us. They nailed us on sometimes on that particular play, whether it was in a miss or an error, or that particular set. And that wasn't that we couldn't defend it. It's just that they were just brilliant on on the day. How significant does it make Friday's game? Yep, yep, it's a big game. It's a big game, and and the next the next three or four games in particular are big. Uh, this isn't about anybody making ugly decisions or, or, or big decisions after the next four games, but we want to be in a position in the league where we're challenging for the top. And that's the big thing for us at the moment. What do you expect from, from Catlam uh, unbeaten? Yeah, they've had a good run. Uh, and they've had a good run at Henley, haven't they, over the last couple of seasons. So, yeah, they're, they're a strong team. Uh, uh, a big, aggressive pack and got some outside backs that know how to play. So, you know, we were expecting a good version of them. Paul Ayton coming back, Luke yeah. Burgess coming back as well. That'll be 
eager to impress? Fired up for sure, yeah. Fired up, but then Lee John has produced a hell of a lot of players over the years, and it's not rare for us to sort of be facing our ex players, is it? Is it actually one of those games where it's, it's irrelevant who you're playing this week is about Leeds? After last week? To a degree. To a degree, I would agree with that. But the fact that Catalans are a decent team, we've got to break them down as well. Like, at no stage was there a temptation to say, it doesn't matter who we play this week, we've got to get ready for 